Welcome. In this video, we'll discuss about the new Chrome Authenticator app. We'll look at how to set it up and if you ever need to port your codes to a new phone. Let's open the app and select Get Started. The opening dialog suggests that you will continue as the account holder, which is Rob. We are not going to choose that because there has been lots of controversy about it being not encrypted while in transit. Instead, we'll pick Use the Authenticator without an account. By choosing that, it will really behave like the old Authenticator app. Next, we go to our computer. We click on our name and we say Manage a Google account. On the left side, we pick Security. Next, we scroll down and add the Authenticator. Next, we select Setup Authenticator. Now we go back to our phone so that we can scan this barcode. Select add a code. Select scan a QR code. If this is your first time, you may have to allow access to your camera. Select OK. After the scan, it should automatically jump to the code and you will see that it's your Google account name. These codes change every 30 seconds. Next, go back to the computer, input your current code from your mobile device and select Verify. Back on your mobile, you should now see email messages saying that you've added the Authenticator app to your account. Next up, I'm going to show you how you can export or transfer your codes from one device to another. I'll reopen my Google Authenticator app from the three horizontal lines on the top left corner. Choose Transfer Accounts. From this screen, choose Export Accounts. You may be prompted to use Face ID. Say OK if you have that set up. For me, I don't have that set up on this mobile device, so I will input my phone code. On the new mobile device, make sure you have the Authenticator app on it, and also make sure you set up with Use Authenticator without an account. Remember, we don't wish for you to be syncing these codes back and forth since it's unclear that encryption is actually used in transit. The next screen that shows up, you'll scan from your new device. It's worth mentioning that if you have a lot of codes on the current device, then you will be prompted next many times in order to port all your codes to the new device. The last screen talks about keeping your codes or removing them from your current device. You can make that decision. Just so you're aware, you can actually keep the codes on both devices if you ch chose to do that, you would select Keep Exported Accounts. This moves beyond this video, so I'll leave it in your hands if you want to test that. On our old device, we'll select Remove Exported Accounts. Select Done when you've made your decision. Should you ever decide you're okay with the risk of syncing, when this is not encrypted while in transit, then select the person in the upper right-hand corner, and then input the account you wish to sync to. Please remember this, you may have both work and personal code syncing. Make sure you're always using 2FA in your personal account. Last but not least, there's a privacy setting you can use if someone other than yourself knows the PIN to log into your phone. To find it, go to the three horizontal lines in the top left corner, then choose Settings. Click on Privacy Screen. I'll let you decide if you want it on or not. Just remember, it's dependent on your camera not being broken. I hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching.